Hi guys, I'm here to review the Anbero T10 car wireless MP3 and Bluetooth FM transmitter. Uh, this kind of device is usually designed for car, older cars or cars that do not have uh, Bluetooth streaming built into their audio system. And, and these devices fit those requirements perfectly. In fact, this particular Anbero T10 has multiple functions to it. Uh, so let's go ahead, take a look. The device itself uh, consists of a central control unit with a nice rotating dial pad that is used to adjust volumes and it is also a button that is used to answer and receive phone calls. It has a small microphone built in. Uh, then you have buttons on the side. The channel buttons are to adjust the radio frequency and the arrow buttons here are for what you see here is a micro SD slot so you could even put music onto your onto a small micro SD card slot uh, and play your music using uh, these buttons. It also has an auxiliary input jack 3.5 mm so you could hook in a jack directly uh, and it has a one amp charging port so the, it goes into your car's charging port it also uh, uh, gives you a one amp charging port which is decent amount it should be able to charge uh, an iphone 5 uh, and 6 at full speed and it has this long boom so that you can adjust it uh, according uh, however you wish to have it i li really like it it the control uh, the control dial is very good so let's go ahead and take a look at its actual performance um, before i actually go ahead and plug it into my car one thing that i would like to stress that using these kind of fm transmitters it is really important that you set the right frequency uh, when you plug in and connect um, you should really hear little or no static if you do get a lot of static you have to try another frequency in, and in my case I had found that 107.9 worked best for me but it may depend it may change depending on where you live uh, but this is really critical for optimal audio performance otherwise you're going to get a static or or bad sound quality so let's go ahead and plug this guy in so I'm going to plug in to the charging port the front charging port of my car and you can see it's turned on. Yeah. There you go. It has a nice display. It gives me what it is connected to. So this is the volume dial. And I'm not sure if you heard, but it also has a very nice audio feedback if it's pairing or not. So right now I have set it to 107.9. And so is my car's audio. I'm going to unplug it and plug it again. Waiting for pairing. Yeah, looks like it's. Let me unplug it and plug it again. Waiting for pairing. It does take a, a little while to pair. But it does get connected eventually, so let me wait for it to get connected. Paired. There you go. So it's now connected to my iPhone. Uh, I really like the dial again. It is illuminated, which is good. So let me go ahead and try playing some songs on my phone. Let me turn up the volume. So the sound quality is really good. Uh, there is very less static. Uh, the, the quality of the audio itself is good. I really like it. Uh, the bass is good. The, the vocals are also good. Good sound quality uh, and it also gives you the advantage of be the ability to receive phone calls which is really good. Another cool thing about this uh, Anbero T10 wireless transmitter is, is that it has an inbuilt battery to it. So if I turn the ignition off for my car, it goes on to battery. 
um, that is a good uh, added advantage so so suppose if you are in a parking or or you're in a drive through and you have to turn off your ignition this will still continue to play music this is a good very nice uh, addition to this device now the other advantage uh, of this one is that it has the one amp charger so I'm going to test the performance of the charger itself by charging my phone so I'm going to connect the USB cable okay and I'm going to connect it to my phone And let's test the charging performance of this. Eight seventy milliamps, which is very good. This the the charger for this unit is rated at one one amp, and you can see it's already reached nine forty milliamps. So it, it does give its rated capacity. You might not see a complete one amp reading because the device is powered on at this moment and it is uh, using some power on its own, like the display itself. So good performance. Uh, it should be able to charge your phones at a good rate. Um, so the really the good advantage of this is that not only you can receive phone calls, you have SD card slot, you have a 3.5 mm jack. But it does not waste your car's charging port because in most cars there there aren't too many. So it you can still use this and use this to charge your phones, uh, which is an added advantage. So I really like this device. I, I like the control unit. It is illuminated. It has a nice display. Easy to use. Um, even while I'm driving, if I have to receive a phone call, I can just press this button, which is really good. And they, there you see it displayed the music. I can pause it by pressing it as well. So it can be used for, it has multifunctions. Uh, it can be used for adjusting volume, receiving calls or pausing or playing music. Overall, I really like this device and I recommend it. Uh, thank you for watching.